All right, hey, um, my name is Bethann Clay, or my full name is Elizabeth Clay, but I think everybody knows me as Bethann. So, my name is Bethann Clay, and I'm a sophomore at the University of North Alabama, and um, I'm making this video for our Honors 201 class, and what I'm supposed to be doing is outlining kind of what we've had to do for civic engagement in this class and um, how it's impacted me and how my views on uh, the things that we've talked about in our honors forums and uh, the jobs that we've worked for volunteer hours. Uh, how that's impacted our lives and kind of what we view about these things. So I just want to first talk about um, the honors program itself. Um, it's been such a great thing to be in the honors program because if you're in that situation where you're um, with a group of people who are constantly striving to be not just average but above average you you learn so much from just watching everyone else and it makes you push yourself harder to be more without even realizing it um, I know I've seen several of my honors program friends um, make good grades but not just that but um, one of the topics that I'm going to talk about is leadership and I've just seen so many people in the honors program all over campus just be the leaders in organizations and events and it's not really surprising because the honors program has certain standards and certain uh, things that we strive to achieve because it's not just okay for us to be okay and not be something more because we can be more and we realize that but it's really neat to to see where what leadership roles are um, given to honors program students but not only that but in our forums to see uh, students that were or people that were honors students not only at UNA but just in general um, how, how much they've succeeded in life and uh, how successful that you can be if you push yourself and know that it's not your life is not just built around being average that you can it's up to you to push yourself to be above average but um, a little bit about the honors program but the main focus of this is to talk about civic engagement and one of the um, requirements for our civic engagement portion of honors 201 is that we had to get at least I think it was like 11 to 15 uh, volunteer hours this semester and um, for me I did two separate things to get those hours um, one was I worked volunteered um, for the office of student conduct um, preparing signs for um, advertisement for an event called junk in the trunk and it was to pit basically the uh, different departments at UNA against each other to uh, gather food and supplies for students, for people in need, especially coming up on the holidays. Um, the, yeah, it was mainly food, like non-perishable items and stuff. and. For that, I uh, helped doing posters, I put out advertisement, told people about it, helped um, 
gather food for it, um, really spread the awareness to that. Like, there's so many people that don't have the things that we take for granted, like food and the ability to just eat when whenever you are hungry and whenever you need to. And that was a big reason I did that. And my other civic engagement activity that I did was I worked at the animal shelter here in Florence. And that really was hard because one, mainly, um, I wanted to take all the animals home with me and love on them. <laughs> and two, I, um, I really noticed a lot of people that worked there. Um, they're so dedicated. Like, it smells really bad in there. Really bad. And there's animal, um, waste all over the place. And it's just, it's, it's dirty and stinky, but they still take care of the animals. And they do it. They do that every day of their life. And I don't know if I could do it every day, but they do. And that's one big uh, nod to leadership right there, if anything. And um, it was just... It was crazy to see how happy they were. I mean, they were singing, smiling, even. And here I was volunteering, um, you know, trying to be helpful and everything. But also, like, these people are, they have a special place in heaven waiting on them, you know? Like, it's, it's just a, it's an empowering thing to see how people in such terrible conditions um, as a workplace, you know, just a reeking, awful smell, and they can just be so happy, and just go on about what they're doing, um, not even bringing attention to how many animal lives that they're keeping safe, and fed, and alive, and it was just a really good experience for me, and um, I, I guess I'll talk a little bit about leadership and integrity. Um, I, I really like the topic of leadership. Um, I think it's a weird one though because so many people have this set idea of leadership it, within it, and over the course of this semester we've heard so many people um, talk about it and have different uh, definitions for leadership and I think that's really interesting because of how just versatile that word is how you can think about it and how what it means to different people but for me I've heard um, many speakers this semester talk about how leadership is just you have to always be extroverted and out there and um, always have confidence and always know what you're doing and uh, just really lead. And that's not always the case to me, um, especially when I'm in a leadership position. I mean, there is that that confidence and that leading that comes with it, but I can remember several times when I've been in a position of leadership where I've had doubt or, um, you know, maybe even fear, you know, I know that that's not what, um, that's not good as a leader to have and that's not what should be in the forefront of your mind when you're a leader and, and in your actions, but, um, I don't think it's impossible for you to be a leader and to doubt yourself and have fear. It's just your actions um, 
you need to reflect it that you're confident but also it's not you don't have to fit a certain mold and be a leader you you just have to define it for yourself and you have to make it successful and for me one of the big things was integrity um, you have to have integrity to be a leader because if you're not um, reliable and um, and always have these strong moral standards that you live by then you can't can't lead you can't if there's no foundation you can't build on that as a person and for other people so to be a leader for me is to have integrity because if you don't have that you're not honest with yourself even if you are fearful and um, maybe introverted or you know have problems with a certain aspect of being a leader um, if you're honest and you act based on what you feel inside that you should be then I think that's it's a good leader to me but I better wrap this up um, it's been a great semester in honors 201 and I'm thankful to have had this opportunity and I will see you on the flip side <laughs> Four lines. <laughs>